Let's go, champ. It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon Briggs, and you're watching True School Sports. Let's go, champ. It's personal between me and you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, Ammo Williams, he was there this past weekend, ringside at Felix Cash's fight on the Josh Wayne to undercard because it looks like Eddie Hearn is going to line up Felix Cash to fight Austin Ammo Williams next. And I think it's a great fight. I think, you know, Felix Cash hasn't looked, he hasn't exactly lit the world on fire since he knocked out Denzel Bentley, Denzel Bentley because that Denzel Bentley fight was like early last year. It was That was back in, what, April of last year. He's only fought twice since then, once against Magomed Mediav, where he got dropped twice and was very fortunate to get out the fight with a win. And uh, this past weekend against the Portuguese fighter, uh, Carlos Neves, who really didn't offer much resistance and was there to be beat. So with that being said, you know, he has a lot to prove Felix Cash. Although he is a top contender, I think there's a lot to prove uh, in an Austin Emma Williams fight. And as for Emma Williams, this is a guy that I really think when we talk about matchroom boxing and Eddie Hearn oftentimes gets credit for not moving his prospects the right way. I think they've done a great job moving this guy. He's fought... Stiff opposition um, from, from to good veterans like Isaiah Jones, Dennis Duglin, uh, Quantavius Cash, albeit I thought the Quantavius Cash knockdown was, or, or stoppage victory was very questionable and premature. But anyway, good win for him against Quantavius Cash. Uh, Isaiah Jones, Dennis Duglin, Quantavius Cash, Cordell Brooker, Kieran Conway. So a, a real steady stream of, of quality um, opposition and Emma Williams has been able to go on there and not just win but in most most cases win in impressive fashion so it, it shows you and it speaks to the quality that he has you know now I love the way Emma Williams has been handling all this because he did an interview on the zone with Darren Barker the former world champion and Darren Barker pretty much uh, made a bunch of excuses for Felix Cash and pretty much stated that Felix Cash uh, has more heart than Ammo, and basically he did he did everything but call Ammo a heartless piece of shit because he was questioning Ammo's heart. He was saying that Ammo, um, he doesn't know if Ammo has the heart to deal with Felix Cash because he's never seen Ammo hurt or dropped in a fight. But in one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, Fifty Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying, there's a, there's a famous line in that movie, and it says the heart will get you killed. So it's not about your heart being tested. It's about, you know, imposing your will on the fight. And I think Emma Williams has done that throughout his career. He's imposed his will on the fight. Felix Cash, I like him. But if he fights Emma Williams next, I'm favoring Emma Williams. I just think even though Felix was a high-level amateur, and even though he's a top contender at 160, I just haven't really seen that Felix Cash in a long time. And I and I do think that he is vulnerable. And I do think that the explosiveness the boxing ability and the athleticism of Emma Williams are going to be some problems for him. But um, yeah, Darren Barker, Darren Barker, never met the man. Maybe I will one day, maybe one day we'll cross paths. But Darren Barker act, acted like an absolute disgrace when um, when talking about this fight, questioning Emma Williams' heart, but then having the audacity to make all these excuses when Felix Cash is getting his ass beat from fucking Brixton to Hackney to South London. He was getting his ass beat all up and down London in the alley pally. And you want to sit here and say, oh, he has heart. He has heart. Like, shut, shut the hell up, man. You, you sound ridiculous right now. You sound like you're making excuses. You sound like you got, you know, the Tony Sims, British pom-poms in your hand. And you need to put them away. And you need to be fair, just, and, and try to at least be unbiased. You can have your biases, but try to strive to be unbiased, you know. Uh, Felix Cash is a good boxer. There's no doubts about it. But if, if you watched this fight with Carlos Nevis this past weekend, he didn't look great. Like, and I, I, I'm not judging him just based off his last fight, but I'm just saying, like, this is a guy that um, I think, I, I think, I don't know. I, the jury's still out for me with Felix Cash. Yes, he beat Denzel Bentley. But that might have just been an off night for Bentley because we've seen Bentley perform very well against Johnny Beck, you know. Um, he's done well at the British level beating your guys like Jason Wellborn and, 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 and you know, Jason Wellborn and Jack Cullen and these kind of guys. But I, I think there's a legitimate argument to be made that 
the jury's still out on if Felix Cash is a legitimate world level fighter. That that that's a legitimate argument. Yes, he beat Denzel Bentley in two rounds. We don't we don't discredit him for that. But if you, most people don't even most people don't rate or regard Bentley as more than a fringe world level contender. I I rate him a little bit higher than that just because of how he performed against Johnny Beckin. You know, I thought that that was very very close. And Johnny Beck is a world champion. He's a top middleweight in the division. So I'll give Cash credit for that. But when he beat Bentley. You know, he was not regarded to be as such. So with that being said, um, it's a good fight. I think I think lots lots of proof from both fighters. But I do think Emma Williams has been steadily improving. You know, he, you know he's had his struggles outside the ring with mental health and these kind of things. But 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 he's 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 came back. He's bounced like a champ, and and I respect him, and I and I and I, and I want to see this fight. I think Felix Cash. Um, is going to have his hands full when, when he has uh, Emma Williams and the explosiveness and the dangerous attributes that Emma Williams brings to the table right there in front of him. So, uh, yeah, man, I love the way he's handling it. He's making his intentions very clear. Um, and I'm picking Emma Williams to beat uh, Felix Cash. I'm getting, I'm getting on record right now. If he, if he fights Felix Cash next, I think he's going to fold him up like a blue steel chair, like The Rock, like Stone Cold, like Chris Jericho, like the great WWF stars of yesteryear. He's going to beat the shit out of Felix Cash. And you know what? If I'm wrong, I've been wrong before. Um, and I hold myself, but I, I don't think I will be. But either way, hopefully they, they get the deal done and they put this fight um, high up on a, on a really good undercard because I, I think it is a fight worth people's attention. So, uh, yeah, shout out to both Ben, shout out to Felix Cash, shout out to Emma Williams, even shout out to Darren Barker for his very biased punditry uh, and, and very disrespectful punditry in questioning the heart of Austin Emma Williams. We'll see when they fight um, on the night, uh, when, they fight, when the contract gets signed. But uh, leave your comments down below, guys. Let me know what you think about this potential matchup. It looks like it's going to happen whenever next, whenever these two guys are signing contracts for the next fights. Who do you favor and why? Austin, Emma Williams, or Felix Cash? Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.